Right, let's go tell Miller about something about Garm, Switzerland, something like that. Oh, do you think he'll be angry? Oh, I wonder if Miller will be angry. Of course he fucking will be angry. Cock. Sorry, not Miller. Paul Hogan. Sorry, wrong name. So you found the bomb maker. Linked everything to Ark. Not exactly. Jesus, Jensen. Oh, he's angry. Surprise, we surprise. Did find the bomb maker. Allison Stanek, a local resident. We have her in custody now. But she told me she'd made dozens more bombs before we arrested her. And she delivered them to Viktor Marchenko. So it was Ark. Something more is going on here, Miller. Have you had a chance to backtrace the pocket secretary I gave you? Not yet, but I will, when I get back to the office. Good. Because Stanek also told me that Marchenko has a base of operations in the Swiss Alps. <laughs> oh, God. A research facility <laughs> oh, <Gaul>. man. <laughs> oh. That sounds like something Ark has the resources for to you. Oh, man. I'll contact McCready. Get him and a few analysts to work up a plan. We need to move on this now. Chicane and I can fly there and back, get a lay of the land, while Mac and his team do the research. Really? Got it all figured out in that clockwork head of yours. Oh, what the hell? I'm in. You're just a pilot, shut up! You got enough fuel to get to Switzerland? To get us there, sure. Fine, do it. But this is recon only. Do not engage. Contact me the minute you have something. Yes, sir. You've proven yourself so far on this one, Jensen. Don't screw it up. Copy that. Oh, man, what a muppet. Miller's not used to giving compliments, is he? He's getting static from the brass. They're starting to riot in Gollum over that shit with Rucker. I'm sure he doesn't blame you much anymore what do you think I think tracking that bomb maker was some fine work if the intel you got from her stands true Gollum City will be the least of our problems so what do you say we go find out how deep in it we are right you all set oh and what a surprise what a surprise, the antagonistic pilot is now warming up to us. What a surprise. Oh man, why is he jumping into our conversations? Well, I figured it all out in that clockwork head of yours, have you? You're the fucking pilot, mate, you Got enough fuel to get there. Yeah, got enough to get there anyway. Like, mate, just... We need a bit more. Get us enough to get back as well, please. I'd quite like to get back. Alright, oh, fine. Let's get his backstory. Not like I care. When we first talked, you told me that your limp kept you honest. That's an interesting way of looking at an injury. Your preamble's as thin as soup, man. Don't dance around it, just ask it. I'm only curious. We've all got a story. No, that's not it. What you really want to know is, do I hate him? The men that tore out my knee. Why would I want to know that? I don't even know His the story. Name is Lachlan Beats. Why are you t He was a laborer. Worked in the mines up near Bendigo before everything went to hell. Beats was a family man who did what he thought he had to do in order to provide for his family. All the tropes are here. Back then, Nobody could compete with you, Oggs, when it came to manual labor jobs. So, he made a choice, if you can call it that. And his choice changed your life. You don't resent Beats for what happened? What I resent are the men who coaxed men like him to get augmentations. Men who enforced a system where the rich could buy artificial expertise without thinking about what it would cost all of us in the end. No. I don't resent him. At least not anymore. I was simply in the wrong place at the wrong time. Story of my life. So look, on that sunshiny note, 
What do you say we put some miles behind us? Oh man, I I preferred him when he was just a one-sided cocky asshole. Without writing in some hackneyed backstory, man. Oh man, how long we've we been working with this guy? And this is the first time he's ever told us this story? Something doesn't seem right. Hey, when we get to the Alps, we could get into some action. Are you ready for that? Why? Because I've been flying hack for the last few years. That's the thing about us naturals, Jensen. We never rust. Yes, you do. <laughs> yes, you do. Look, I've been doing this a long time. Been in my share of shit, too. I always manage to pull myself out of it. Fair enough. Just don't leave without me. Hey, listen up. I know we're not exactly pals. And oh, here, here, it here it comes. Here it comes. fucking asshole. In fact, I'm offended you'd even say something like that. That's not what I meant. I'm just messing with you, Jensen. You ready? No, I'm not ready. Not quite. Let me take care of some things first. You know where I'll be. Yeah, just wait here. Wait here, mate. I'm sure we had some uh, emails to check out, actually, back in our office. I think. Right. What's going on down here? Aria, how are you? Hey, Adam. I heard about Rucker. That's terrible, Adam. He was our standard bearer. I don't know. I spoke to Miller as he was leaving. We heard this. Yeah, Fubar is what'll happen. What a week. We saw these, didn't we? So what do you think of our... What do you mean? Things are heating up here in pro... It just seems suspicious to... Yeah, we saw this before. I should get going. Okay. Talk to you later. Right. What's changed? What new stuff is there for us to see here? We've seen this. How many have they lost in the last three months? Jennifer Phillips. Yeah, we did, didn't we? Smiley, Smiley, Carol, Smiley. What's he up to? Daniel Fletcher. Who? You are a genius. Oh, is that your real name? Adam, good to see you. Yeah, well, the feeling's not mutual. I'll look into Stanek's records, see if there's anything germane to the case. Call me if you find something. Germane? What does that mean? Delara. Hey, you were you were spying on Miller. You were spying on Paul Hogan, mate. What are you? What are you up to? I'm glad you came back. I hope you find something in Black's office that you can use. We've completed the Black case. Unless there's something new there, we can have a look at. Go and have a look. Cyber crime. Oh, wasn't there a computer we were going to look at too? Wasn't there one that wasn't free? Was it that one? Why is no one talking about Vincent Black's murder? A bunch of psychopaths. Was this one, wasn't it? Right, what are you saying? Well, well, well. Here we go. There's something I wanted to talk to you about. Apparently. Get some sleep, Chang. You sound like you can use it. In pursuit, but they're losing it. Why is why is no one talking about Vince Black's death? The amount of data to shit is huge. Ask him yourself. He 
who's made the most noise in the pro op movement? Rucker's death has got... So it turns out that Allison Stanek, our alleged bomb maker and the head of the freak show Church of the Machine God thing, is the same person. On the floor Can you believe that? Above. Ah, you know the story. Allison Stanek, former Czech military EOD well, technician, head of the Church the of the Machine God, first, right? and now deceased, or ascended. It's about keeping your yeah. She's great. not dead. Either way, her body is dead, and where her mind is, nobody knows. Never mind. The amount of data to ship through is huge. Is that is that the end of the machine god? That seemed like the most interesting thing in this game. And is that it? Is that that side quest over? That's pretty messed up. Rucker's death has got everything on the web jumping. The amount of data to ship through is huge. Ugh. We have another one on the floor. Why is no one talking about Vince Black? Guy's dead. Guy's dead. Does no one care? They've already cleaned out his shit, look at that. The, the, he had stuff in his office, didn't he? He did. He had he had stuff in he had like trench coats and stuff up here. Look! Look at the monsters! He's, his body's barely cold. And they've already cleaned out his office. Oh a bunch of psychopaths, man. Holy crap, they don't they don't wait to move in, do they? Open the door please. Oh man. Bye bye Vince. Right, this is our office here, isn't it? Counter terrorism, McCready. Right, who's this? Bunch of agents, okay. This is ours. Aug is here. Oh come on man. Yeah, from, from Delero Ozen. This is the info on Marchenko. Hello, Adam. So I made a few calls and I think I know why iLink came up with... Oh, it's Adam, isn't it? Right, like Adam and Eve, because he's the first one. Of course it's Adam. Came up with nothing on Victor Marchenko. He wasn't using that name when he entered the Utilek complex. He was calling himself Victor Melnik. Plenty of stuff on Melnick after 2027, most of it posted by state police in the Utilek complex. Seems like he stood up to them a few times when they were performing routine document checks, questioning suspected wrongdoers and confiscating suspicious merchandise inside several of the residential sectors. But if you ask me, every single one of the complaints looks like a classic he said, she said situation and I can't figure out who's the bigger bully. Still, it got me thinking. If Melnick really is his last name, why tell you it's Marchenko? Suppose it really is Marchenko, and he decided to use Melnick after 2027 to pay homage to somebody else. Ran a cross check on two names and came up with this Alyssa Martnova Marchenko, a suspected Russian intelligence agent who lived in Kharkiv, Ukraine, around the time of the 2014 re revolution. Her maiden name was Melnika. Right, Ukraine, that's where Marchenko lived in Ukraine. US intelligence thinks she may have been secretly recruiting dissidents and seeding pro-Russian sentiment throughout parts of eastern Ukraine for years. She married a Viktor Marchenko in 2021 and moved to Belgorod shortly after, but disappeared with her husband and kids just prior to the AUG incident. The thing is, the Viktor Marchenko she was married to wasn't augmented when they disappeared. I don't know if he's the same guy or not, regards to Lara. Is that all? Normally all the new emails pop up at the, the bottom of the page. Why was that one sitting at the top? Came all this way for that. I have an undercover operative in ARC. But I haven't heard from her since the rioting started. No you don't mate, don't lie. Ooh, who's is this? Hans Gerber. I wanna get that. So need to go here and here. Anomaly detected. Do we have no we shit man? Wow. Wow, that was fast. Have you got a reason? Hey Jensen, heard you had a bit of trouble at the petting zoo. Come again? The snatch and grab with Rucker. Guess it's no steps forward and two steps back for you too, eh? Isn't that how you put it before? Right. Only I'm not being tied up by red tape like you are. 
My problem is a little more complicated than that. I'm just stating the facts as they are, mate. Although, I am a little surprised you managed to cock up such a simple task, what with you being so, uh, well equipped for the job. You think because I'm augmented going after Rucker should have been a cakewalk? You know, McCready, the more I talk to you, the less surprised I am by what comes out of your head. Is that a fact? You think you know me? I know your type. You're a front towards enemy kind of soldier. Very effective, as long as someone points you in the right direction. I'll wear that as a compliment, thank you. And fuck you. Now, if you don't mind. Why was he pointing that way? Pointing here? That's a fucking wall, mate. Why do you have such a problem with me, McCready? You don't even know me. Oh, I think I do. I've worked with your type before. You roll into barracks with your solid state muscle, think you're more capable than the rest of us slobs. You're afraid of being replaced? <laughs> Please, mate. They broke the fucking mold when they made me. Oh, God. Besides, I think it's been proven that there's no substitute for good old fashioned organic clockworks. So, again, if you don't mind, I have work to do. So no all can ever live down the incident, is that it? Is this meant to be an interrogation, Mr. Shit-Hot Ex-Cop? Because you're dancing on my last fucking nerve. You afraid it's gonna happen again? Listen, Frankenstein, I lost three men. Good men, because one of you fucking robots had his switch. I warned you about pushing it, didn't I? Still, that was unprofessional. Oh, God. Look. This is awful. <laughs> I just... We all lost something during the incident, some more than others. But the people responsible are still out there, and they need to answer for what they did. I'm not asking you to be friends, but we can't stop them as enemies. Oh, God. Mismatched tools bound by... A oh, no. <laughs> something like that, yeah. Hell, maybe that is all we need. Suppose we just let time tell. Right. I'll see you around, McCready. Sure. And now we're best mates. So we get to a certain stage in the quest and everyone starts warming up to us. Chicane, McCready, not quite Paul Hogan yet. But it's nothing to do with things we find out about them, it's nothing to do conversations we've had it's nothing to do with both working in the field together it's just we've progressed to a certain stage in the quest line yoink so let's open up the characters a little hey, bit more Jackson, I'm busy get lost I see your computer right let's try this one again We got caught on that one there, didn't we? Maybe we'll get it this time. Yeah, we did. Right, we've got two threes to get. Grab one of these as well. Anomaly detected. That, no time. Fuck. Wow. That one's difficult. Oh, we've, we've read these. Von Lee says to Hans Gerber about a loose cannon. So another mission with Jensen, another body count. At least he didn't openly defy Mac's orders this time, like he did on his first mission. I don't know why Miller lets Jensen undermine Mac like this. Just because he's an og doesn't mean he deserves special treatment. I was there, you weren't. Jensen wasn't the reason the mission got blown and if it wasn't for him, things might have turned out worse. In all due respect to Mac, but if he wants Jensen to be more of a team player, he has to make the man feel like he's part of the team. It's been six months, Jensen has proven himself. Um, Hans Gerber says to Von Lee, Nimi drink. To commemorate six months, our colleague and friend Jana Nimi gave her life in the service of others. We get everyone together for a drink, blah blah blah. Since everyone's too busy with the bombing, I'm postponing this. I'll let you know when it's back on. Strickland Hall. 
must have read these. Ah. Strickland Hall to Vincent Black. Vince. An ambitious, upwardly mobile neon smuggler who goes by the name Charnabog. Apparently they're having some sort of turf war. Forget Charnabog, he's a bullshit rumour, a dead end. Vince Black is Charnabog. Right, let's just forget the data stores this time. Here we go. Whoa! Right, from McCready to Hans Gerber, Utilek Op. Heads up, Miller gave me word that he sent a Jensen at Nagolem to extract Talos Rucker for questioning. If that doesn't work or something happens to Jensen, we're going in to exterminate those art cockroaches once and for all. Hans Gerber says about the Dubai investigation, Mac, reassure me that this new bombing doesn't mean the Dubai investigation is going to be given to Muscat. Not a chance. Those were our people we lost. The investigation stays with us. I have Paul Hogan's word on it. Hans Gerber says to Paul Hogan, Sir, Mac has just instructed me to put together a mission in Dubai. I asked him why we were given this assignment, but he didn't have any explanation. With all due respect, sir, shouldn't Muscat be handling this? Gerbert, the reason your superior didn't have the explanation you wanted is that he knows better than to question orders. Just listen to what McCready tells you and get on with it. So we get a lot of background information here, which is nice. That's saying um, um, that uh, we are going behind what Interpol wants us to do. We're doing something that we really shouldn't be doing. Max put together a mission, um, giving it to McCready. And this mission is not exactly on the books, it seems. I think that's it. Unless uh, Miller's been up to anything. Is he going to be in his office? Shouldn't he be in his office? Where did he say he was going? Maybe he's at home. What was Delara doing in here? Oh yeah, the note. You'd think... You'd think that the most important man in the whole place, Mr. Paul Hogan himself, would have... We think he'd have the most emails coming in, wouldn't you? Yes, not. Well, there's not much to see here. Let's head to Switzerland.